neurocognitive rehabilitation, also known as Perfetti Method, was created in the 1960s by the Italian professor Carlo Perfetti, and it's currently a great rehabilitative response to a stroke, hemiplegia, and spasticity. It was a breakthrough in the field of post-stroke rehabilitation. Before it, stroke therapy was limited to the strengthening of the muscles and the stimulation of the reflexes. In the last centuries, our knowledge of human movement had a huge evolution. Around 17,000, the extraordinary studies of Galvani and Duchenne showed that muscles contract if stimulated by electricity. In that time, the movement and the recovery was completely attributed to the muscle's ability to contract. That ancient knowledge gave birth to the rehabilitative techniques that act on muscle strengthening and stretching. Even for hemiplegic patients, it is obvious that the problem is the brain lesion, not the muscles. About 100 years later, our understanding of movement took an enormous step forward thanks to the Nobel Prize Charles Sherrington, who demonstrated the importance of neuromotor reflexes. This amazing discovery originated the rehabilitation techniques such as Babat and proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation around the 1950s. But in the last years, neuroscience studies found the importance of cognitive processes in movement rehabilitation. Meanwhile, Professor Carlo Perfetti created a rehabilitation method which involves all our brain functions during motor exercises. The Perfetti method is based on the fact that a stroke damages the brain and its functions, not the muscles. Suddenly, even today, the field of rehabilitation is behind our times, by still proposing approaches such as muscular and reflexes reinforcement. That's why stroke patients often suffer secondary problems, including spasticity. The exercises proposed by the Perfetti method, on the other hand, are designed to stimulate the patient's movements, along with their cognitive processes, their perception, attention, and their ability to solve problems. All these elements are essential to a quality recovery. I believe it's essential for the family to actively participate in their loved one's rehabilitation by learning how to perform the exercises at home.